Hello guys and girls. Today we're building our own cockpit for a space shuttle. Okay, so in a way you're making your very own space shuttle that can take you to space. I will show you what I am doing at the moment. I've not at all finished, but I asked you a while ago to go and uh, to start collecting some recycled materials because you can use them for your spaceship. All these little things that I have here, look, these ones can be used as buttons to do lots of different things, right? So we need to stick them on something so that we can start using them as maybe that's a takeoff button. But I will also show you what I've done here. I've got this big thing here, right? That I got very cheap from, um, what's it called? Japan Home, I think it's called. And then I also got, oh, oh what did I just drop on the floor? Ooh, actually, that's also important because that's part of my astronaut. Oh, that's part of my astronaut outfit. Look, I'll show you that later. If you came to school, we might have to all have been wearing that in the first few weeks and it's not comfortable at all, I promise you. But what I wanted to show you is that I also got some of this foil that is not recycled materials, I know, and I shouldn't be asking you to or encouraging you to use any sort of non-recycled materials to do this but we also need to have to make sure that it looks really good right and the only way that we can really do that is by having all the very lots of very cool things that reminds us of a space shuttle so i have attached some photos but i'm also going to show you some of the photos here look that's something that i found on the computer i think that looks pretty cool look they had he they have headphones put it down here they have used headphones and remote controls and then they just wrap little trays in tin foil so it looks a little bit more spacey doesn't it then there's also this one that i like that's to enter the, the spaceship you have to scan you have to put your hand on like this and scan your hand or maybe you have to press a code that only you know so that no outsiders could come on board or enter your spaceship then there are also some little few things here look ah, it's not easy I'll show you like this I think that's pretty cool too and look here they've used all these little bottle caps that I also have here we can even paint them in different colors if we want to do you think that there's anything else that's super interesting that was a rocket that's not something we need that we can do that when you come back to school there are lots of really fun things here that i want us to do when you come back to school i even want us to maybe build one of these out of cardboard boxes because i think that looks pretty cool don't you good so i have scanned the most important things down here the reason that i put my computer here if you have an ipad you can just put that here as well because then we can play some space movies and then it will really look like we are going to space you can even sit here and watch um star wars for example or any sort of maybe more appropriate film about space maybe we could watch the launch of a uh, apollo 11 again whilst we are actually sitting in our cockpit okay so remember you can use all of sorts of different things for little buttons for your spaceship okay i can't wait to see what you come up with i will also start finishing my design tomorrow because right now this just looks messy it looks nothing like a spaceship it just looks like a computer in front of a big tin foily thing right so who can make the very best space shuttle cockpit Remember all the sort of things you need take up buttons. You need lots of buttons for all sorts of different things. And the best thing is you don't even have to explain to anybody what they're all for because you're the astronaut. You will know, right? Good. Have fun, guys. Bye.